evening, three young doctors working in the A&D department of the London Hospital have issued a stark warning to Britain on the day the death toll from coronavirus rose by 87, the biggest daily rise so far. There you go, locked and loaded, mate. Daryl had his crossbow, Rick had his magnum, Michonne had a samurai sword, Azo's got his miniature sized green apple hand sanitizer. Well, a nice morning, chilling out. L I listen to the news a little bit first thing, and just every now and again, try not to over, over consume news because it can put you on a bit of a downer and get your mind into a negative way of thinking, which is news in general, isn't it? But, so I just have a little bit of that and then try and fill my day full of nice stuff, a little bit of routine. Oh, that sort of gear. So I'm just walking to the village shop, got my bag on my back. I'm not bulk buying, I'm just, I'm just going to grab a few bits and pieces for the next few days. just doesn't quite don't quite fit the bill does it right let, oh, for, let's start by if you're with me I mean uh, in these peculiar times I'd uh, stopped drinking for quite some time just uh, well I was getting me I was getting stuff together I was working out um, just you know taking 2020 by storm and then woohoo derailed me absolutely derailed so I'll let. Uh, I shall charge my glass and a little bit of Melbeck. I can feel the boat moving. Woohoo! Right. Oh, to everyone. Um, everyone on the front line, but to you know, everyone at home, everyone just playing, doing their bit. Um, I'm, everything. <laughs> everyone. Absent friends. Oh, salut. Oh, I can't get it right, mate. It looks like some sort of, you know, when someone's kidnapped. It looks like that. This is from Tom Joy Photo. Scottish. One of the most southern Scottish people I know. I'm more northern than him. Uh, Tom says, dude, I'd love to learn some knots. I'm currently doing, if you can't tie knots, tie lots routine. Well, Tom, it... Uh, what I would, I can't show you knots now, <laughs> but I'll definitely take you out sometime and show you some knots, my man. Can you swim faster than your houseboat? Yeah, mate, because it's mowed up. I can, I can go about, how fast does a battleship, like a battleship go? I can go about as fast as a battleship. As I, I, they used to call me the battleship back in my Navy days, in the SS, SBS days. <clears throat> Most versatile vegetable question mark cooking or otherwise I'd probably have to say a tatey mate. Does the body rule the mind or does the mind rule the body? For me, body first. <laughs> Not because of uh, the obvs, but because it's like your gut in it. Your gut is part of your body and you you need to put good stuff in your gut and then it goes up to your mind. It depends what you define as your mind really or your brain the way you think so I would look after my body always if I'm going through a rough patch or if I'm stressed out I've got a lot on or if I'm or whatever um, I always mix change up my diet straight away like just eat clean and eat well what are you most grateful for at this time it's a tough one that isn't it mate people mate that's all people loved ones grateful for loved ones and and I'm grateful for uh, everyone who's supported me or reached out. And I'm grateful for us as a, as a race. Just the human spirit I've become grateful for. Um, 
especially in these times when people do good stuff like when I, I heard all them people were just like old NHS dudes coming out of retirement to go back to work and people signing up to like civvies just signing up to go and help and stuff it's just oh yeah people mate I'm grateful for the, the, the love of people how to motivate yourself to get out camping more <laughs> well just love it mate you've just got to love it haven't you you've just got to love it I'm like that with all my hobbies. If I get really into it, then it's just, it seems to be a necessity. So it doesn't take much motivating. It's a pleasure to do it. Favourite sketch in Athletico Mints. <laughs> I like it when he does um, Peter Baisley, mate, and his wife goes on about the porches. <laughs> uh, Josh underscore Partington. Pa Partington, one. Tell us more about your Iron Man. Um, I've just been dining out on it ever since, mate. That was all. <laughs> I remember speaking to my dad on the phone afterwards, and him saying, uh, "Easy, you'll never be, you'll never be as fit as you are right now." And I thought, "I will. I'll, I'll keep this up." He was right, mate. He was right. Favorite place you've ever been while camping? Scotland too with Joey D. Cheers. Don't think for one second that we haven't, uh, that the perfect campsite doesn't have its own swing. It does. So surreal, that. Is this surreal? This is surreally good. <laughs> it's hard to get it going. Shake a stand on it. Really Alright, get on here. Really hard to get going, right? Let me push you on it. No, no, Sat you down. get on here, and with both of us, we'll do it. Level it up a bit. <laughs> go on, it's gonna be a slow. Go on. Go. <laughs> That's it. Look at us go. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. Come do on, it. come on, funny. you can, you can. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. No, now you do it. You're doing it. You're doing it too early. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Look at us go! Ah. Oh, that's Why too can, funny. can we get too us both funny. swinging on it? It's too funny. Uh, <laughs> get in the middle, get in the middle. No. Feels good to be a little tiny dwarf on a massive swing. <laughs> I fall off this. You won! This is science, mate! Oh. Ready? Right, three, two, on science! Joe versus science. That is a science wins. That is a great right, Andy Zot, Q and A with Joey. Do it remotely. Shall I do it? Let's give him a ring. Let's give him a ring. Let's give him a ring and put it on loudspeaker. So, if he says how absolutely horrific, we can do him for it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'd have to cut this. If he swears. What did you say? Bog roll? Yeah, you got any. You hoarding it? Mate, I've got tons, mate. Ah, oh, he's fucking. He, he, whittling bog roll and flogging it on the side. <coughs> I've got the real decent stuff as well. Have you? What are you making out of these days? Wheat, like pulp? We just making making paper to uh, draw on, mate. Ah, oh, good. Artistic. Good lad. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just calling in because you're uh, I'm I'm doing a a Q and A from the boat. Yeah. Yeah, and I've got answers. I've got ans. Oh, I had questions on my phone, but I've just phoned you, so I can't use it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got anything you want to say to the audience? Anything I want to say to the audience right now? Yeah. Just imagine that you're live on a podcast, mate, because essentially you are. I can't edit it out if you do one of your little mad slurs. Uh, 
Um, what have I got to say? What was it? Can you not remember any of the questions? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, are, how how are you finding these times? How is Joey D finding these strange times we live in? How are you coping, mate? I'm adapting all right at the moment, mate. I, I quite I don't mind being um, reasonably social isolating the, at the best of times. So um, not a fan of humans, are you? Drain at the moment. Did, what did I've you got say? Got plenty of plenty of projects to get on with. So plenty of hobbies. Yeah. Can I ask you this then? Go on then. Do you prefer it <laughs> to normal life? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I could still go out and do a bit of climbing and a bit of camping, then yes. Oh my god, there you go. Joey Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's a real that's got a really nice ring to it, Joey Corona. Yeah, good name actually. Say it. Say it. Joey Corona. <laughs> it does have a good ring to it, doesn't it? I can... It does, I might, I might get, on, get on deed poles. Joey man. Corona. Oh, that's good, mate. So you keep, you're keeping busy, all your projects and that. Are you going to allotment? Are you allowed to go to your allotment? Yeah, yeah. He actually um, he actually named an allotment as one of the forms of exercise that you're allowed to do. Absolutely brilliant. Bef- I'd love it if you caught the Corona at your allotment. What, for a cabbage? Yeah, no, just by someone, just randomly. Oh, just from just random. Running at me. <laughs> yeah, like a berserker, like a berserker zombie <laughs> running at you, sneezing and coughing. <laughs> just some old bloke with a ga- slack hand for the parsnips, well he's on. <coughs> right at you. Uh, yeah, mate, it's a shame you've got, uh, it's a shame that, the, um, that Joey Corona's kicking about because you would love it on this boat, mate. How did you end up on the boat? Because my housemate got the Rona or was ill, so I couldn't go home. Yeah. I'll can I get on it and I'll look after it and I'll pay. Oh, obviously I pay you a bit of money and so she give us a good deal. And also oh, I made her um I made her a nice promotional video for it. in a few weeks yeah so I think they'll have you then I, I beat Rona like I don't see myself going out like that no just in a like in a hail of gunfire or something like that you know what I mean not, not like not like withered doubled over <laughs> struggling for breath <laughs> doubled over we, <laughs> we wheezing in a room full of people doing the same thing <laughs> no mate you'd be on your own Oh, on my on boat. Will I be on boat? Yeah. What? Just self isolated and no one knows that I'm here. You just have to like chuck yourself in the river or something. What? Just to save everyone clean up job. Yeah, to make it a bit more dramatic. Be like, oh, I fell in the river. That's a good idea, a big, mate. A that's big, a, a big pike dragged him in. That's a very good idea. Uh, yeah, yeah, I witness saw him wheezing and coughing in in, in, <laughs> in his trunks on the way to the water's edge. <laughs> we were rod in his hand. Rod in his hand, yeah. crying yeah, like, I can't believe the runner got me. <laughs> All right, mate, cool. Right, this has to be a little section, mate, because I'm trying to... I'm putting lots of other stuff in, so it's been lovely to hear from you. Right. What, what can we expect in the future? For what? For us. For, for life. For life, for us. For When will we camp out again? I guess we've just got to put it on ice, haven't we? We've got to put it on ice, mate. When will, when will anyone do anything ever again? There he goes. That, and that's you know what jo- I mean? and that's and that's coming from Joey Corona, so yeah, that's that's nailed on. Right, okay, mate. Take care. Love to the fam. Yeah, you too, brother. All right, take it easy. Uh, all right. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye to fans. Oh, that's nice. See you later, fans. There you Bye. go. There you go. <laughs> Camping Dan 85 what advice would you give someone starting out on YouTube? Question mark. Thanks, Hazen. Stay safe. My advice to you, mate, is stay in your own lane. Is do do you? Um, obviously, you'll come up. You might you might create. A, you might want to come into a genre like wild camping or bushcraft or gaming or food channel or whatever it is. You'll come into a, a genre, but you need to do you as much as you can. Carve out your own path. Try and be individual and do and do stuff that makes you happy. Don't pander to the crowd too much because when it, if you when when or if it doesn't work out then you're just left with a loads of load of films that you don't you're not really proud of as far as the content and stuff i do generally try and keep it try and keep it interesting just for me and try and do it do things that i enjoy and then i think it, it comes across on on the video if you enjoying it yourself and that's you know you can't buy that man hollywood can't buy that man and so yeah do that and good luck to you mate good luck simon pudwin which YouTube bushcrafter, wild camper, survivalist will turn into the next Raoul Mert? Well, hopefully none of them, mate. Hopefully none. We'll all be, we'll be Ray Mears, the people who tracked Raoul Mert. Actually, while I've got a platform, Ray, I know you watch. I really need my copy of Grand Theft Auto V, mate. I really need it. This is a plea to you. Please, because I'm bored, I'm on my boat, I need entertainment. I've nearly finished it. I'm like 70% of the way through. Please, can you just... We'll, bet, we'll, we'll dead everything that's happened in the past. If you could just please bring me back or leave it at least two metres away from me, my copy of GTA 5. Thank you. Done with questions, mate. Thank you to everyone who who sent a question on, on Instagram. And thanks to everyone who's reached out to me and been so kind. I echo that. And I... And I I rebound it back to you. We're all in the same boat. And I offer my love and my support to all you lot as well. And good to have uh, good to have Joey D on there. That's probably the highlight of our show, wasn't it, when we had Joey D on, let's be honest. And because I've been on lockdown, it feels nice to talk to people like this. So it's like, I'm like, well, I better go now. But, oh, just don't go just yet. Can you want, what? More questions? You want, what do you want? More? Should we phone Joey D back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna walk off that way or anything. This, I'm too, I'm too hemmed in because it's like I'm on a little boat now. So Namaste, indoors. <laughs> See you later. Here's indoors signing out. Bye. <laughs> this is the equivalent of me walking off, but then coming back. Hi. Ages. See you later, bye, love you. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise on to the top. Now I'm trying to be an icon from the top. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars will have gone by by the month. Yeah, I'm trying to be your icon from the jump. They were warden. I let bygones be bygones. Kelly Buzz will have gone by by the month.